welcome to another process video. We're going to be doing some slow stitch parts. It's a mixture of machine sewing and slow stitching. I'll explain what my take on slow stitching is. Is ready. <laughs> Let me pour myself a nice cup of tea and I'll bring you down closer so you can see the desk, so you can get a, a closer view. Wonderful. Little Freddy. <laughs> so let me show you what, what they look like. I've got the, this is that the padded jacket that I was making. I've shown you that before. Where is it? I've got it all left over in a, a bag from a, that's the one from my leftover project that didn't quite go to plan. And so it's got some roughly sewn on the machine quilted fabric. And I've put a backing on. There we are, like that. They're wonky hearts, so you can do yours from a template if you like. But these ones are just wonky, any old size. <laughs> and if I were to be slow stitching all of it, what I usually do is get lots of little scraps, pin them on and then just stitch them on. Now, slow stitching means use the stitches you know if you if you if you know embroidery stitches use those anything to relax no pattern no plan just free form really so if you just know a running stitch just do a running stitch, yes. Uh, and yes, I think it's it's mindful stitching. Just relaxing. There's no set size for the stitch. They can all be all be different sizes. It's something you can do just for yourself. Or you can do it for other people. Here we are. I'm doing some cross stitches here. Good morning, Sam. I'm making a video. <laughs> oh. Young Fred's sitting here by the window, Sam. He thinks, where's my treat? <laughs> the Everybody's started back from the Christmas holidays now. Ben's just left. He's gone back home. Sam's here. You can't, he can't go into work this morning into London because there's a train, train strike. So he's working from home. And you can see here, look, just if you want to make all your stitches the same size, you can. There's no right or wrong. There we are. I've even found, say last week, I could I could do this when I wasn't feeling that well at all. But I just the nice thing about small projects like this, is they're portable. I just took this into the lounge and did some sewing. Our Australian and New Zealand friends, it's summer. They're saying it's way too hot out there at the moment in some parts of Australia. And you can take it out into the garden if you can find some shade into a nice shady spot. 
Can you see that? My stitches, any old how. And you can fill this with stitches. Or you can send it just as a padded heart. Basically, what I'm saying is there's no rules. Let's not put rules on ourselves. <laughs> oh. There we are. I have no idea what, when I picked up the needle, what the stitches were going to be. I'm just sort of letting it, letting it flow. And I have a person in mind for this as well. And there we are. Look, the needles come out. So... I'm just going to snip that off because it's fine. There. There's some stitches in there. I have a person in mind for this. And they've had a loss. And I want to send it to her. This will be traveling over the sea. Let me thread my needle. Oh, first of all, I'm going to have a little sip of tea. <laughs> mm. Delicious. Especially nice in my new little cup. <laughs> Wonderful when I found out that the cup had blackberries on them because we've done quite a lot with blackberries blackberry dye and smooshing down in eco dyeing fabric eco dyeing fabric and paper with blackberry leaves so <laughs> freddie's found a puddle you gonna go in freddie oh yeah I don't know whether he'll sit down. Sometimes he does. Oh, thinking about it. Oh, yes. Mud, mud, glorious mud. The hippo. <laughs> Here's the blackberries. Look at the new leaves. These are the new shoots. Oh, plenty of foraging for next year. How apt for our videos and streams that we've got a little teacup that has... There we are, using that needle threader, threading that needle threader through the... Now you can see I'm using gold metallic. I think it's actually copper, but for the minute we'll call it gold, but thread. And when I make one of these, I call them hearts of love. It's something that Becky and I started doing a couple of years ago I'll leave some links it's something you've seen me do a lot but I like to put some gold threads through the heart and that's a, a that's a Japanese art isn't it where they mend pottery where they mend pottery with gold on the cracks. And I think that's very fitting because quite often these hearts of love are going to somebody and there has been loss. And, or change. Or hard things happening for them to come to terms with. And it's lovely to put some gold stitches and each heart is different. When you're, when you put slow stitch patches on, there's a lot more gaps in them because this is done by machine that patched work on 
And that's lovely to fill all the gaps with gold. Gold threads of hope running through the heart. Because yes, sometimes that our heart does get broken, doesn't it? So it's very simple. And I'm going through a phase where I'm not I'm keeping things simple and I'm being kind to myself and the gold thread working with the gold thread and working with just the simple stitches is such a help <laughs> I carry my I've got so I have, uh, yeah, I carry this with me and I have some half made up so I can just come to them. I don't have to scrabble around and find things. They're there for me. That makes it easier to sit down and do, really. I think you get that, don't you? Let's have some face-to-face -face time because I'm not showing you anything new really maybe you'd like to just see inside here it's a little bit of a mess but um got my pins that's for winding thread round and that's for my pins for when I get that for material oh that's some paper words. That's interesting. I'll put those there. That'll be nice for Happy Mail. I've got flowers here. Never know what I've got in here. Let's have a look. Buttons. Got a little fabric and cluster. Fabric and paper cluster. Oh, a little. So these are all things that I can use in my sewing. Oh, another little bird. That's lovely. Mm. And some lace. Just little bits and pieces that I can sew on. Or some hand, little bit of hand-dyed fabric. <laughs> oh, this is lovely ribbon. I often put these on. Just little pieces of them, little houses. That's gorgeous. Ah. Oh. Let me just um, so we can see one another because I think you you get the idea of what I'm doing here. I've got my marmalade sandwich here. Mm. Absolutely lovely. Mm -hmm. Rimbo's hibiscus, little fairy doll, settling in well. <laughs> Frimbo, there's your lovely dress, it's gorgeous. Oh, you've got a lovely scarf. It's from Maria. It's gorgeously made button. I absolutely love that. One little sign of hope. Let's see, what have you got? What have you got here, Flo? Oh, you've got a little mini zine. Oh, that's gorgeous. Julia made that for you. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's wonderful. You will treasure that, won't you, Flo? How wonderful. Yes, and another time I will demonstrate, show you the process of how I make the hearts just from lots of scraps and hand sew them down, if you would like, like. But it's, yes, it's just have a piece of batting or fleece in between. There's no right or wrong, really, with something like this. It's just nice to 
yeah just make sure it's always good to just check yourself am i sitting am i sitting comfortably yes yeah, so i've got my back in the chair yeah, freddie's definitely sitting comfortably will be it's probably about nine o'clock in the morning and I've got my marmalade sandwich here and my first cup of tea of the day and how lovely just to spend this time with you and start the day with a little bit of creating that's that's good practice isn't it if you have the chance because I know not everybody does that you're that you are so busy and trying to find time to create. Time's a funny thing, isn't it? And then other people are finding that they're having a lot of time on their hands. This is wonderful winding the gold thread through here. A sign of hope. Isn't that lovely? It's like that saying we had yesterday. Let me just read it out again. Just because I read it out at the end of the live. Maybe you didn't hear it. Hope is the thing with feathers perches in the soul and sings the line without the words and never stops at all. Susan Lee. Isn't that amazing? Hope is a thing with feathers that perches in the soul and sings the tune without the words and never stops at all. Incredible. Mm. Just threading that little bit of gold thread and I will use that to the end, maybe even do some more. And I can put as much or as little on this. And when I'm doing, if it's a heart of love, when I'm doing it, I will be thinking of the person and keeping them in my heart when I'm sewing it as well going to be making some purple hearts this week after yesterday's live. Shall we light a candle? Another sip of tea. Mm -hmm. mm. Lovely. Mmm. <laughs> this candle for those who feel that they just haven't got time life is busy and hard I'm also lighting this candle for those people who feel they have a lot of time and time goes very slowly. I'll just 
blow that out, but we're still thinking of people, aren't we? We keep people in our hearts. Wow, I better put the phone down. And let me know if you're doing, what, you're, what are you creating? Or, or are you finding it hard to find time to create? Are you going to be starting any new projects? What are your thoughts on slow stitching? <laughs> oh, let's have a chat, shall we, in comments. I love to chat to you. and It's, it's helpful for the other people that go back to look in the prompts. On my community pet tab from yesterday, I have yesterday's prompts and I can't find it for the minute. I, I have a list of the... I can't find it. For, anyway, I've listed them on my community tab and it's a list of words that people shared in yesterday's live. Positive words. And my one for the year, my word for the year, is simplify. You don't have to have a word for the year. It's There's no pressure. But is there something that you'd like to share? You didn't get a chance yesterday to share it. And you might want to share it. I'm going to be writing them all down on my in my prompt page from yesterday. So those words we can share them with the community are there any words or phrases or quotes that you're starting your year with that would be lovely to know well thank you for spending this time with me and yes this is just very simple but it it's just yeah i just it's just it's just lovely. I, I put these, I'm packing up. I'm finding, putting these in here so they're ready for me to sew and I can just come and pick that up. I was thinking yesterday, that's what I do. I share with you different projects I've got, but I set things up and I'm thinking, yes, I like to set things up in little bite sizes little bite sizes of crafts or creations or art whatever you'd like to call it that I can just grab and go so if you're busy you can just grab and go it go or if you're feeling a little bit I'm not quite sure what I want to do you've got lovely bite size that you can pick up and do some creating because I think it is very good for our soul and our, our blood pressure and general mental health. Yeah. Right, on that note, I will say I will catch up with you in comments and people's lives and thank you so much for spending this time with me. I do appreciate you, I really do. Take good care everyone. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> oh, Cooper and Matt.